All right, man, I'm going to go ahead and try to make this video pretty quick on how to remove these screws. Here's one that's already been removed. I don't know if you can kind of see it's, it doesn't really have threads. I don't know if you can tell or not. It's definitely a rivet. But my method, I actually have a Creepers Media that is off the spool as well that I've been needing to replace, so same type of deal and same type of screw in there. I don't know if the lighting's right, but you can't really see. But anyway, my method is I'll take a, a small flathead and I'll take a large flathead. And I'll just go through the top. I've already I've already removed all the other screws except for that permanent safety screw. So kind of just want to. Try in there with the small one the best you can. Basically the small one is just to get a big enough gap to get the big one in. And once you get the big one in, you can take the small one back out. And then you just want to push all the way to where the base of the screw is. Like I said, you know, it feels like you might break it. But I haven't broken any, so you just want to push it all the way into the base of the screw. Like that. And then basically I just twist back and forth. This one's a little harder. until it comes free. And then it just should fall right out. Oops, it's not quite there yet. Oh, there it goes. Yep, and it should just fall right out, just like that. And there's not really any damage to, I mean, it kind of does a little bit of damage to the inner plastic, but, I mean, you can put another screw in there, because like I said, the shell itself is drilled for a screw, so you can put another screw in there, and it'll screw in, and you won't even be able to tell by looking at it that that, that was ever done. So, anyway, I hope that helps you out. Thanks, man.